Philadelphia had every reason to believe that the Sixers were the team of the year because they made the most important acquisition in the history of the NBA. 30 in newspaper language means the end. Sixer fans were hoping 30 meant the end of the playoff drought. Just what credentials did George McGinnis bring with him? That's as easy to answer as one, two, three. Last year, he was number one in scoring and total points in the ABA. He was number two in steals and number three in assists and number five in rebounds. All George did during his first NBA season was average 23 points a game, stand fourth in the league with 1,769 points. He was fifth in the league in rebound average. But more important than the stats is what McGinnis brought to the floor in the attitude, style of play, the excitement. Many fans took time just to watch George. He was a study in how to work without the ball, a skill that never shows up in statistics, but one of the most important aspects of the game. McGinnis led the Sixers in assists. Some of his moves fooled fans and opponents alike and opened the way to easy points that coaches appreciate and teammates love. He does his job with such apparent ease it's worthwhile to stop for a moment to see his skill, his unique jumper. His ability to fake opponents out. What is showboating for others is standard skills for George McGinnis, and his Sixers have come to expect it. Of course, with his great moves, George not only fakes out opponents, but occasionally a teammate.
George McGinnis wants to take it all the way. Gets his rebound back and puts it in. McGinnis rebound. And he follows it up. In the first minute of the third quarter, Kentucky on top. Lewis driving. Gilmore goes down. McGinnis right in there to steal that ball. Indiana by three is... Hillman off the side. His shot won't go. McGinnis on that board. He takes this hole. He got it. This is to Billy Keller cutting by. On the cut series, he stops. He shoots. Missed it. Rebound McGinnis. He puts it back up there. Got it. Handle the ball. Takes it full speed the other way. McGinnis heads back in. Back <laughs>
Walton, and McGinnis came out and stole it. McGinnis defended him. Walton coming back, and George laid it in. First half. Looking basket. Miss on the drive, so the frustration continues. Loose ball, McGinnis back. Comes up and hits it. George McGinnis with his most effective. Off they come. Here's Bibby. It's three on one. McGinnis comes to the basket strongly with his best offensive showing. Let's give so much credit to Philly. They just will not fold. The tremendous credit to this team. Off they come. Chance to make it four. McGinnis goes in and he drew the foul. From Off the deck. Times. Did you see McGinnis making a steal? Well, you don't want to get in the way of that. It's 71 to 69. Philadelphia is in the lead as McGinnis goes way up over the defense, up over Sidney Wicks. McGinnis starting to use his muscle game down low. And Washington goes for the steal. That gives George McGinnis a free shot.
fast and pick up speed when they get that running game going. Out to Lloyd Free. 76ers starting to put on a show. A little schoolyard basketball by the Sixers. McGinnis wanted the ball quite a bit earlier than he got it. He felt like he could have got inside and got the two. It's the five in the game now for Denver. Two minutes to go, first period. Again, it's up the block. And it's saved by Bobby Wilkerson. McGinnis, George McGinnis, he loves that shot. 